Rally LS Fest East 2024. I'm excited because there is a huge pyramid. It's like a huge bass pro shop. Hey, there's a tugboat. <laughs> Squirrel. Okay. Uh, we can only spend an hour. An hour? An hour. An hour. There's a lake inside, homie. Uh-uh. I'm not walking on the glass, on. homie. I'm not walking on the glass. To. No, I ain't got to do nothing. Hey, it's a bit slippery and wet. No, homie, that's glass. You want to protect the windshield on the truck driving down the highway. You're putting your life at risk. Look, there's old Mac. I'm zooming. Oh, I can't zoom enough. Wes, you're gonna have to zoom the rest of the way. I can't see out the window. Shut the f up. Tell me what I gotta do. No, look, it's like smoke. It's on the outside, homie. Yeah, that's high. That's why I didn't go up there. That's a long way, son. Big scaredy cat. You right, you right. I ain't got no feathers, I'm made for the ground. Well, we made it to Bowling Green. He's trying to figure out where to park, but old Max here safe and sound. We're at the hotel. I'm about to whoop Russell's butt. See, we've been in the truck for 14 hours. He's trying to start stuff. We're supposed to be he here in finish. 11 and a half hours, and we made it 14 hours. Because he had to pee like 100 times, because he's old. No, don't make me talk bad on this camera. Don't make me say shit I shouldn't be saying to these people. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>360 camera put it on top of the vehicle and Russell you just got through your driver's meeting first driver's meeting how'd that go uh, well I only caught the last two minutes of it that's all uh, you need uh, I know that reaction time doesn't matter if you red light it doesn't matter only thing that matters is your time overall you get three passes the best time out of three is what you get oh awesome and uh, there's enough cars we don't have to worry about hot passes he said go around the water box would probably be better don't yeah. worry about big burnouts Yep. And uh, we're just here to have fun, really, so none of that stuff matters that much. No, dude, we're just here to have a good time, and uh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, seven pounds of boost. We're on our smallest springs. We don't have our air management hooked up yet. So we're just here to have a good time, bro. All right, let's do it. 
Everybody seems to like old Mac for some reason. Hey, I just met a guy in a driver's meeting that asked if we were the ones in the twin turbo truck. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. Look at this. We're going on this. This is where we're going to be doing the burnout later. Yeah, you got a lot of room. Yes. You got a lot of room. I'm going to use it all. Down. Look, all these guys are getting suited up. Where's your race suit? I'm wearing it, brother. Oh, you're supposed to have pants. Am I? Yeah. What we got going on in here? Oh, what are y'all doing? <laughs> we're getting race suits. What are y'all doing? Chilling. Chilling. Nah, tired. I was just in here steam cleaning this uh, race suit. Did you steam clean it for Russell? I did. Okay, it's disinfected. Disinfected. No uh, ball sweat in it. A little ball sweat. Sweet. No creases. Okay, awesome. No wrinkles. See, you can see dude, here. Look at that, dude. Got a wrinkle one. That is nice, man. Let me take that over there too. Let's me. go racing. Let's do it. All right, Ryan. Got his race suit, and he's giving me a lift in the pacer. Uniform rental. Over my day. Hell yeah. Love it. I did this thing like it wrecked not too long ago. It, it, it was wrecked uh, along the wall by a big friend, and we uh, bent it back out and brought it out to Holly LS fast. We're going to see if it can get torque or some more tires. Heck yeah, let's do it. All right, buddy. Ready? I'll catch you on the flip side. Alpha Reaper. something uh, 13 something it was slow it was slow i beat that car but you did beat the firebird race number two we're going to turn it on up to stage two and uh see if we can uh, not lift the front tire so much this time last time it was carrying the wheels for the first 60 feet and i just lo almost lost control of it so we're going to turn it up a little bit or we're going to turn it down a little bit and see if we can keep tires on the ground Going fast is what we do. <laughs> Thirteen thirty nine. What you about to do, buddy? <laughs> what you doing? Just warming up the baser. It's a it's an electric car. Yeah. And you have to warm the batteries up in it. Okay. And just make sure that all cells are firing properly. <laughs> okay, so what's going on with this two step? So the party two step. The reason why it's so aggressive is we're pulling 30 degrees of timing and then re-adding the 30 degrees of timing and dumping a shit ton of fuel in it. So that's why it's so damn aggressive. Now, do I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. It sounds cool as shit. <laughs> it does. Of course do that. Yes. Now, don't blame me when your shit breaks. It's not my fault, but 100% do that. <laughs> Found Square Park, yeah. right in the middle of Bowling Green, Kentucky. The drifters are about to be driving in. I've been going all day. Russell's been doing some racing. I forgot to eat. And I'm still hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. But the drifters will be here just any minute. And uh, we're gonna get just... some shots of them coming in. Yeah, that's what we're doing.
Now, how did this happen? Well, I just said, uh, can I come in here? And they said, yeah. <laughs> I did it. Just because they said I can, I figured it'd be a good opportunity to come in here. It is. Yeah, I like it. Saw that there was pizza. Turn right toward East Main Hold on, Avenue. let's see. Did you get directions? Yeah, I got directions to get the Turn pizza. Look, insomnia East Main cookies. Avenue. What is that? I don't know. It's cookies that keep you up. Why does it say Alley Pub? Where y'all get that pizza at? Is that pizza? No. No. It said there, it said there's pizza somewhere. Um, there's a little alley down there. Oh, that makes sense. Alley Pub. There we go. Thank you. There it is. It's in the alley. Oh, alley pub and pizza. I have a feeling it might be closed. I can still smell pizza. It can't be closed. No, it's a pub. It's not going to be closed. Oh, yeah. Good. Four to ten. Mmm. <laughs> pizza. Holly LS Fest East 2024 Bowling Green, Kentucky. Do it! What's going on with y'all? Hey, if you ain't here, where the frick you at, man? Well, yeah. This is gonna be a madhouse, it's gonna be awesome. It's already crazy, guys. It's Friday out here at Holly LS Fest 2024. We're in the Holly booth, Duet's here, plenty of other people here. Spectators are lined up everywhere. There's a line all the way out here to the autocross track to get Holly merch right now. We're gonna get around here and try to get y'all some show coverage, some event coverage, show y'all what's going on. Check out Old Mac, yeah. all that Duet. Let them boys show y'all something, cause they got an itinerary, man. Yeah. yeah. Excuse the drip. Carter said, I've got to get some autocross content. So that's where I'm headed to, Carter. This is for you. Dude, this is crazy. They've got like, it'll be like four cars on the autocross track at one time. It is insane.
So it's a 2006 Solstice. I paid like 3,200 bucks for the car. 3,200 bucks? Yeah. And uh, me and my wife went to uh, Arkansas to get it in a snowstorm. Yeah. And uh, it started as a lemons car. Over the winter, I was like, man, it needs more power. So we put an LS in it, kind of put the hard top on it, moved the cones around, and just started having fun with it. And then, like about a month ago, put this Pro Charger back on it, did some tuning driving, and yeah. like here we are. You know Dude, it's I mean? awesome, so, man. So yeah, it's I a lot appreciate fun. it, man. I like yeah. the build. Yep, Thank you. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna go to the truck and get my helmet so I can do some ride-alongs with people doing autocross. The place is so big, I'm gonna get lost. What are, what's the fastest runs people are making out here? Uh, so I think some people have dipped into the 37s, which oh. is really fast. Um, like I, my goal for the for the weekend is to get in the 39s. So uh, we went a 40.5 so far. So I think by the end of the weekend we can get there. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Sounds great. Hey, let's do it. I'm Good luck, Charm. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm just impressed that somebody owns nine patina vehicles, you know? <laughs> Man, I got a soft spot in my heart for a G-body. We got Chris here with his, uh, what is it, Monte Carlo? 81 Malibu. 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 Yes, Monte Carlo Malibu. Is that G-body. Kind of, it's yeah. a G-body, okay. G-body. But he has nine vehicles with Poppy's patina on it. Let That's me tell right. you, why did you go with Poppy's patina? I came here last year and the guy said, you got to try this stuff. Tried it out on this thing. I was happy with it and tried it on the other nine. Worked perfect. Awesome. So other. that just tells you the quality of Poppy's Patina. Y'all go check out poppiespatina.com and get yourself some. Use code, I don't even know our code. We'll put it up right here. That's great stuff. Yes. Great stuff. Yeah, awesome. Love man. it. Love Appreciate it. you telling us. Thank about you. It. Thank, Thank you. you very much. So, GM Freak on Instagram, check him out. He's got nine rides with Poppy's Patina on him. We're giving away a 1970 Cutlass. Oh, cut frame off. We got QM1 full suspension on it. They got a new big wheel kit for the A-Body Cars on it, too, matter of fact. Uh, Wildwood brakes all the way around, nine inch rand, 24 inch reaches, sound system, LS motor. Where can people where can people win this truck at? Oh, no, oh, the car. Car. Yeah. See, look, see, look, look, look. I'm on to give away yeah. the truck, man. The car, man. We can go to in and out custom.com. In and out custom.com. Custom.com, click the link, and all you gotta do is enter. You know what I mean? That's it. And you can win the truck. And win the car. <laughs> Not car. just over there, it's a lime green. You see the brightest one over there. If y'all don't know, that's Donk Master. The fastest donk in America. I think he got the fastest donk in America. Oh, let's ask him. Is it the fastest donk in America? Uh, oh fast. my donk? Fastest, uh, fastest in the world, and I got the gold chain to go. Oh, he got the gold chain to go. Oh, yeah, we made all the old 
I got to let go right <laughs> here. Fastest donk in America, baby. Everybody, this is Alan. He's the influencer man for Holly. He makes it happen, man. He, he is our bread and butter here at Holly. Oh, bread and bread, butter. Bread. And a little salt and vinegar, too. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Man, man, Peretti's man. classics, y'all. Peretti's classics. Y'all go check Let's them out. Have a YouTube, video. Instagram. We're going to put you guys on our Instagram and YouTube. Heck yeah. Where okay. do they find you at? Where do you find us at? Peretti's Classics. New York. York. They call me Faja. Faja. Faja? Appreciate it, man. Nice okay, meeting you. Man. No, we'll hang out. This is like my favorite exhaust of all time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, the journey We got that HQ, on video. Like we're putting now, I think I'm putting it right on my video. I mean, I copy that if I could. I mean, being here. Their this truck's truck. prettier. You know, they're both pretty trucks. You know, that one's pretty, we pretty. Had, we had sauce. cars with these wheels. Time out. My sauce comes out the side, too. But I have a little special switch in case somebody starts talking something. <laughs> People <laughs> don't realize that these trucks are LSs and that they're fast. It's a bet. You know, they don't understand. You'll they figure it out understand. real quick when it's 3,300 pounds. Ours is a sleeper. Sleep what? <laughs> Not a trooper, but... Boy, that thing's so fast, you blew the gas door open. <laughs> they just look at your tires, and they know that you, you're all yeah. set up. He got the big meat Larry Hoover. Yeah. <laughs> that big meat Larry Hoover. a 2003 Vans RV7A. The A signifies that it has nose gear. It's a 5.7 aluminum block LS1. Uh, it's actually one of the first ones because it has uh, perimeter bolt valve covers. And then it's a Stinger Drives gearbox. So it's a 1.54 to 1 gear ratio. And we cruise at between uh, 35 and 4,500 engine RPM. And you flew it here? We landed on the drag strip. Hell yeah. yeah. How long has it been done? Um, it's, uh, since 2003 is when it got its airworthiness certificate. Um, I've owned it for the last three years and I've gone through it and like rebuilt almost everything. So uh, it's been quite the project. Do you have future plans for it? I do, but I can't tell you what they are. Ah, no, blower, supercharger, turbos? Maybe, so everything's weight limited. So weight on this is way, way more crucial than it is on like, a car so everything that we decide to do on this has a weight penalty so it's like it only weighs 1400 pounds which is actually like three to four hundred pounds heavier than it would if it just had a traditional aircraft engine in it so we have to be careful about adding too much weight to the airframe what kind of horsepower difference is it from the factory engine a traditional airplane engine would be anywhere between 160 to 200 horsepower uh, this one at the rpm range that we're running we're seeing about 230 horsepower so not a big difference but the best part about that is we could always uh, bore it stroke it uh, put a cam in it tune it and we can get a significant amount of gain out of it without actually changing the weight of it which is pretty cool so I think the next thing that we want to do is maybe an LS3 because uh, it's a little bit more displacement. Get rid of DOD, obviously. Um, maybe better heads and a, a nice little mild cam for low end power. And uh, then maybe we could get around 300 horsepower in our RPM range, which would, which would really rip. And it flies like a dream? Oh yeah, it's super well balanced, super, I mean, I can fly it with two fingers. It's just super touchy. Awesome, man, well yeah. thank you. Where can everybody find you online? Uh, Ultima JP. Awesome, man, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.
One of my most favorite vehicles is coming right here. Sweet. The vehicle that I haven't owned yet is El Camino, and they're one of my favorite vehicles. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm trying to see what them New York boys is about. <laughs> Robbie Clayton? Is he here? Pacer? No, he's not here. Why is this 26 pacer? hours on that thing. What are you talking that about? Robbie? Yeah. The paint. That's not paint. Yes, it is. No, 20... that's not. That's a wrap. He said 26 hours on paint. That's a wrap. He was lying. He said it was 26 hours. That's he, a wrap. He probably is lying to me. <laughs> Robbie Clayton. Now you just realized that. Hey, Robbie. Were you being... No, it's, it's definitely a wrap. I think that's a wrap. I think it's Robbie. Hey. Robbie, you answer this. Is it a wrap or is it pain? You lie to me, Robbie. Robbie lied to Alan. Robbie, you lied. That's a, it might be a paint job. He said 26 hours. 26 hours and it's all the wrap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go by there. We're gonna. We're we gotta. We gotta. This is a go. mystery. We're gonna solve it. Gonna... It is paint. I thought it was a wrap the way it looked, but dude. That is paint. I thought this was a wrap. Robbie was not lying. <laughs> Robbie. Us. Robbie. He was not Robbie. lying. Not lying. No, that's paint. That's real. 26 hours, man. Fest. Yeah. We just got in trouble. Ryan has been doing the two-step. Cops came over here and told us to stop because this thing is crazy loud. But the crowd here is amazing. Look at all these people here, guys. What? Look at this. Oh my gosh. Dude. It's a freaking DeLorean. If this is LS Swap, I'm going to poop. The DeLorean is LS swapped? Yep. Is this yours? Uh, this one's mine. The other one's his. Are y'all going to be at the uh, show tomorrow? Yeah. Yep. Dude, but, how long have you had it? Uh, I've had this car since 2011, actually, but uh, how long I've had it running is two and a half months. So, <laughs> how long did you, what, what LS do you have in it? Uh, so, it's a uh, LS4, but it's 4 to 5.7. Power to weight, it's about the same as a bone stock C5 Z06. Um, which is kind of dumb for like, this car, yeah. Uh, I've already blown a set of like uh, trailer arm bushings out of it because of it. But, <laughs> um, it's it's fun. It finally has the power that matches the looks of it. Yes. But, yeah. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. North Carolina. Yep. 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 Hey man, I appreciate you doing Thanks. it. It's awesome. Love it, dude. I can definitely see myself driving this. Super cool. Way too cool. Trying to, trying to wake up this morning. We stayed up way too late hanging out in parking lots yeah. like we were in high school. Yeah. I mean, well, I was in high school. Russell was like 37. And uh, that's why, that's, uh, that's how we meet him Why, why y'all gotta be like this? Why y'all gotta be like this hanging on me for my old age, bro? The funniest part was yesterday when I gave this guy my car, our card, and he goes, who is that, your dad? <laughs> we're here early, y'all. Uh, for the shot for the Holly booth. That's, uh, they're gonna do promo shots for... Influencer photos. Influencer photos. Are we influencers? I mean, I guess so. We're influencing something, I, I guess. Here. Well, 
hope, I hope it's a good influence. I hope I don't let you down. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get these photos knocked out, and then the spectators are going to start pouring in, and we're going to try to bring you all some more coverage today. This is Saturday. They say this is the big day. This is going to be elbow to elbow. Like we are right now. Yes. Elbow to elbow, you know. So, we look forward to bringing you some more. Hope you enjoy it all, and uh, let's get moving. We are riding around with Alan, our social media influencer personality from Holly. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about it, Alan? I'm hungry. Where's breakfast? Where's breakfast? Yeah. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. You brought donuts for us. I didn't even get to eat one. Y'all ate them all. Oh, I man. ate one blueberry donut. It was good, too. It was good. This is a Holly LS Fest 2024, and this car was not here yesterday, but I was walking up the hill and saw this car, and I know you've all seen it on the internet. I walked in here and I met the owner, Kevin Cameron, with Horizon Motorsports, which is really a shop in your backyard. You yeah, said, really, right? it's just a 1,500 square foot building, and we just, this, this car lived in one bay for two and a half years. This car looks like it was built by a team of F1 engineers and it was <laughs> built by Kevin and his dad. Yeah. Tell us how it started. I was going to Nozzle High School. I had two free slots for an internship. And so that's three hours a day, three hours every other day, I'd get to go do an internship. And they we were looking, we couldn't really find one that was fitting for me because I was going into motorsports engineering. We were like, hey, what if we just kind of proposed this plan to the internship department? We had this whole plan. They're like, yeah, let's do it. So I'd basically go home every other day and the weekends. I was just, anytime I had, I was working on this. You started off, you had a $30,000 budget. Yeah. You're like, we're gonna build something. We can throw an LS in it and just drive it around. Yeah. What changed that made it go from this car you might see running around here to what it is yeah. today? Well, the thing that changed is about six months in the build, I started an Instagram account and it just started to take off. And basically uh, we went to SEMA and the first time we went to SEMA, we got a sponsorship up through Vibrant Performance. They're a, Canada, they're a company out of Canada, and they supplied all the fittings on this car, tubing, HD clamps, uh, anything that we really needed in re relation to that. And ever since we got them and they told us a few things to do social media wise, it, our account exploded. We're at 130,000 followers a day, and we have like 40 plus sponsors that have helped us on this build make it possible. So we went from a $30,000 track uh, beater to this this machine that you see in front of you. And you couldn't have done it without the sponsors. It would have been that other beater. If yeah. You, so your yeah. social media and your sponsors are what made all this happen. And the fans, the people who decided to follow along and really watch this stuff is the reason why this car is it is today. I followed along and watched all this <laughs> stuff. And then getting to see this car in person, being here yeah. is amazing. So what, what, what engine is in it? It's an LS. So it's completely custom. It's not like we bought an LS. Well, we originally bought a Junker LS6, and then we found out we need a little bit more RPM, and we wanted it lighter. So then we contacted late model engines out in Houston, Texas. And they uh, were, we just basically said we want two things. We don't care. Like, we're, we're, we just want it lightweight and high revving. We want a 9,000 RPM yeah, that's engine. That's what I was going to ask. Go yeah. 9,000. Which, out of a pushrod V8, that is like screaming. Yes. They basically came back a few months later and they were like, okay, we're it's uh, internally this whole thing's custom. It's got a Cali's cranking cam, it's custom grind, it's all lightweight, it's all aluminum, it's steel sleeved. The block itself is from concept performance. It's capable of 2,000 horsepower, and we so we spec out the whole system with 2,000 horsepower. The fuel pumps are from, or the whole fuel system is from Radium. Basically, we're running their uh, basically their pumps and everything, and their kind of flex fuel sensor, and we're running uh, VP's X98. 
Okay. So, yeah. And then your transmission, you have a transaxle, which is, I asked the question, yeah. and I've never even heard of it. Yeah. Because it's some real racing stuff. Yeah, so it's a real race stuff. It's from uh, England. It's just a very well-engineered gearbox. Okay. Suspension. That's the probably the yeah. great, like, as far as the looks, it's crazy, yeah. but it, looking under the hood and under the back, the suspension, tell us something Yeah, about so it. basically we have it matched front and rear, and it's off of a 2000, 2002 Champ car. So it's all, it's a double wishbone push rod suspension. So, and the way this works is that you have a push rod that goes into the rocker, and we have two different kinds of rockers to play with. We And there, between those, we have a bunch of different kinds to play with, but we have a rising rate and linear rate. So rising rate, as the car goes through the rocker ratio, it gets mechanically harder to, to close the damper on the car, that shock. So it gets harder and harder to close that gap, and uh, that would be the rising rate. Linear rate is it acts linearly through the whole thing. So it was if it's takes 500 newtons of force to press it this way, it's going to take 500 newtons of back force you know so he's talking about science and geometry guys and uh, if you didn't get it it just means this thing's awesome <laughs> <laughs> so basically we have a bunch of different tuning options to play with this car the nice stuff about this is it's very proven we have setup sheets from the ground to all the way up here of technical information over the suspension to make it go fast so there's a lot of adjustability a lot of play in it. and then you said the whole car is metal yeah, pretty much. So everything that you see here, except for the the hood, which is fiberglass, the nose, which is fiberglass, and the trunk, which is carbon, everything else on the car is steel. Yes. Yeah. So you're all the flares, all the fender yep. flares, everything. Yeah. It is, you would think coming up on this car that it was a lot of composites. Yeah. As far as driving the car, how many times have you driven it as of yet? We've driven it twice. Both times have been on airfields. The first time, we actually did a dyno test, and then a few days later we got on the airfield, and a few days after that we got on the an airfield for Autopia LA, a shoot with them. Okay. So, yeah, it was it was insane. Yeah. You, is it insane enough to where you can't wait to do it again? Oh, dude, I literally was like, I just, I almost stayed in the car and didn't get out because I wanted to keep doing laps. It definitely doesn't turn like an Indy car, it definitely doesn't break like an Indy car, but it, I think it accelerates exactly like one. And it's screaming loud, huh? Oh, yeah, it screams the whole time. There, there's, a, there's a video online somewhere of a guy going, holy shit, this thing, this thing sounds like an F1 car, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude, the flybys on this, you just, it sounds like a stock car. It's just awesome. Yeah. You built an awesome car. Thank you. I Thank really you for telling it. everybody about it. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to seeing it actually in action in the future. You do have future plans to run it, correct? Yeah, that's the plan. We really want to go through grid life and global time attack and do some of their series. It's just, this car is so complicated. We got to spend the time to get set up. So setting up, testing, and tune in. Yeah. That's where you're at right now, and then it's going to see some action. Yeah. Just takes time. We look forward to it. I oh, appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time. Now, what's your Instagram before you go? It is uh, horizon underscore motorsports underscore LLC. Y'all give him a follow. Yeah. Go check him out. He'll build more badass stuff in the future, and we hope to see this thing running around in the near future.
What's going on, guys? Hey. How are y'all? No, we're good. We're good. Just what got you? done autocrossing. Autocrossing? Yeah. Awesome, yeah. man. Where are you from? You're from? Uh, Louisville. Louisville. How many years have you been coming to LS Fest? This East? is my 13th. 13th year? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. How far did it take you to travel here? Not long. It's, I'm in Louisville, so two hours. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. So not bad. What about you, man? I'm from Bowling Green right here. It's my home. It didn't take you far? No, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, man. That's right. And what y'all got here? Y'all got some, uh, y'all got some, uh, Camaros, I like these Camaros, dude. These are nice. No, they're, they're Corvettes. Corvettes. What, what are they Corvettes? Corvettes. Those are Corvettes. Brother, come on. Come on, those are Corvettes. These are C5Z06s. Both of them, basically the same car. His is set up a little different than mine. Okay, you can kind of look at it. Just look at the aero setup. So he's got, look at the back of his. So he's got like the fin on the back that's more of an air block where I have a wing on the back. So it kind of changes the dynamic. So his car, it catches the air on the, at, a, at a slower speed. For mine, it's more on the higher speed. So like when he's on course, he has the advantage on the real tight stuff out of the dig, whereas I get a little bit more push down when it's top speed. Awesome, man. Yeah. How long y'all been doing autocross? I've been doing it with this car about seven, eight years. Seven, Something eight years, yeah. man. Yeah, it's, it's a awesome. blast. What were y'all, what was your time running? I know I ran in a uh, Solstice. I got, I got to ride in a Solstice. The red Solstice, and yeah. And it ran like a 40, something yeah 40.5 yeah. is where i was at yesterday Heck yeah man yeah. what about you 38 two. Oh, oh one of the fast ones yeah, yeah, 37 37's like one of the fastest yeah, right yeah but it's an electric car oh wait wait what e the, yeah the e-rays yeah. Yeah, oh so the e got okay the ends electric gas rear i mean it's cool it's cool ride and all but you know it's 2002 that's pure hell raising u.s grade a america right? <laughs> there we go man i appreciate y'all that is johnnybadass.com or, uh, you know, hashtag Johnny Badass. There we go. What's going on, guys? We got Andy with custom car emblems. He CNC'd our old Mac emblems. He also 3D printed our old ones, but now he's doing CNC machining. Andy, where can they get these emblems at? Uh, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all that stuff. There's links to everything you need in there. You can message me directly. We'll work on a design and we'll get you something badass. Heck yeah, y'all go check him out, guys. going for a ride in a minute? Yes, sir, we definitely are. Okay, okay, I'll see you over there too. Oh no! Freaking loud. All right, guys, I'm fixing to go for a ride in the square body of Texas. I guess it's a pre-runner. I have no idea, but Fallon built it. He's only an hour, wait, Fallon? 
Phelan, Phelan, Fallon, Phelan. BJ's Phelan. He's only an hour away from us. We're gonna go check this thing out at his shop, but I'm going for a ride in it right now. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> they're, they're getting me uh, strapped in right now. Good? I'm good, okay. I think I'm gonna be bouncing around. All right. We're sending it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Okay, dude, this was too much fun. Right? Too much. Try to do that in a Lamborghini. So, have you ever done anything like that before? No. Ever? Never. So, so this is this is the first time. Yes, this was the first time, and it was amazing. <laughs> do you have trophy truck dreams now? I've got drift truck dreams. I've got autocross dreams. <laughs> I've got trophy truck dreams <laughs> i've got all the dreams all right awesome. all the dreams heck yeah we're gonna make it happen we're gonna make it happen awesome. dude thank awesome. you so much i'm fixing me to blow it up man that's what i'm gonna be we're gonna send it to the moon if it if it starts making noises i've instructed chase to send it to the moon and blow it up in front of y'all we don't need to blow yeah. it up at the house we need to blow it up here and i've i've messed it up not in front of anybody yeah Twice. 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 <laughs> Twice. We've got a big crowd here tonight. Uh, so. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna show off. We're gonna give them a show. We got a lot of camera angles. Look at this. We got this camera. We got that camera. We got we've got like three or four camera angles. Andy is a dang videographer. <laughs> a little bit. He is tonight. Yeah, definitely. And he's helped me set up all these cameras. We're gonna do the best we can do for this burnout competition and put on a show for you. So I hope y'all enjoy it and uh get ready. Because it's coming. It's coming. We'll do it. What are you doing, David? We are gentlemen, but we're at the burnout contest. <laughs> Rods might fly. <laughs> Stay tuned.
All right, guys, I've got Trey. Tra wait, wait. I, I, it's Evan. Ev you're Trevor Evans. Trevor Evans, but it's Evan, Evan Trevor. Tra Trevor's on social media. Yes, sir. So it's very confusing, especially for me being dyslexic. <laughs> that's not That's not good, dude. It's yeah, not I good. Feel you, I feel you. You're confusing me. You're confusing me. <laughs> hey, do you have any words of wisdom for doing this right out of competition? Uh, put it to the floor and hold it there. Okay, I, that, I, that's what I'm going to do. I appreciate that. Thank you for the words of wisdom. Yes, and if y'all don't know who this guy is, he has the sickish short bed square body that does rolling burnouts like nobody else in the business. That's this guy right here. Just a couple. It's amazing. Dude. <laughs> awesome work, dude. Appreciate awesome. it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. What's up, man? You ready to send it? Hell yeah. How are you going? What's your plan of action? I'm just going, I'm starting in fourth and I'm just going to let her eat. That's it. Fourth? Yeah. Oh, this is a real drift call. Oh, yeah. This is going to be for real. Yeah. All right, man, do it. Yeah. The one and only Jackson. What's going on, man? How are you doing? Pretty good, man. I'm in a barred ride, fresh paint job. I'd go out there and blow some tires. Let's do it. You're gonna you're gonna mess up Robbie's paint job that he worked so uh, hard I already, on. I already got the clearance from the man himself. He said, "Send it." Send it, buddy. That's what we do. We had an argument if this was a wrap or not. We That's, thought it was a wrap. It's paint, first. and there's no bondo. I 100, know. Hundred percent body work like a man and paint it. It's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Robbie's talented. Kill, yeah, he does killer he work. He's talented. Yeah. Dude. All right, dude. I'm ready to see you send it. Thanks, so. buddy. We'll see ya. Let's burn them down, buddy. Brian, I need to know the rule. What is like the rule when you're doing a burnout competition? Is there rules to this thing? No rules. Destruction is your plan. Okay. But destruction requires wheel speed, which means we're putting it in drive. We're giving that truck everything we got all the time yeah. until destruction. You're telling me. I'm telling you. Because you said truck, you're driving a car. Oh, so yeah. oh. he's talking to me, telling me I need to just destroy the car. Is that what you're telling me, the truck? No, destroy the truck, like literally. Okay. Put it in drive, you want maximum wheel speed, you want destruction at the end of this. And if you blow tires, don't stop. Just keep going? Stay on the rims. Those are 20s though. Be, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a price that we're going to pay. Be 16s by the time we're done. That's true. That's true. Let's do this. Let's do it. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
I was trying to blow this thing up and it just wouldn't do it. You know, I listened to what everybody said, just put the skinny pedal to the floor. That's what I did. I went outside of the, the cone area and I, I, I recognized that and I got right back in. And I tried to blow up old Mac. Careful. I tried to blow You're the tires off. You're making me flinch off. hitting that thing. Oh, there's no air in this, is it? You drove here on it. Oh, there is a lot of air in this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's, let's put this down. I don't want it to blow up. Yeah, yeah. That would suck. Yeah. But anyways, dude, we had a great time. I had a great time. I hope y'all had a great time watching me act a fool. And I couldn't have done it without this guy behind the camera. Russell, thank you so much. Who's that lady? I don't know why that popped in my head. I don't you either. Said this guy, and I thought this lady. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to tell y'all we appreciate y'all watching our content, and we couldn't do this without y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the, the people that watch the these people videos, that watch them. the people who like hearing it two step and watching us do all yes. this maniac stuff, we yeah, couldn't they, do it without you. We appreciate everybody's support. All of our followers, yes. all of our fans, on all of our platforms. And all of our sponsors. We want to thank y'all. Right here. Yes, custom car emblems right back here, Andy. We appreciate everybody. Holly putting on a great show. Thank you so much. Dude, this has been a blast. And this event all together. Yes. It blows LS Fest Texas out of the water. And I'm sorry, Texas, because it's our home. We're bigger in Texas, but not, not, not this big. damn LS Fest. This no. LS Fest is way bigger. Thank you for watching, guys. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this wild weekend at Holly LS Fest. Click that like button, click that subscribe button, leave us a comment, let us know what you think about it. We'll be back on another one. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs>